compound butter, you're, you know, you're putting in flavors. Um, a traditional one, it's going to be like lemon zest, shallots, and parsley. And you add that into butter, you make a log out of it. And then from there, you can use the log for whatever you want to impart flavor. But you could add, there's like, I've seen people add curry into the butter. So when they're making mussels or whatever, they throw in that little piece of butter, you impart flavor. You know, but it's one of those things where you have extra butter and you're kind of like, man, what am I going to do with it? And you notice you have extra stuff laying around, you make something. The majority of us have something like this in our house. So we're going to go with this, okay? So all we're going to do is this butter, you know, you can finish off steaks with it, shrimp with it, you want to throw in vegetables. You know, you're kind of like, oh man, I know I need that flavor or something. You add this butter to it, you're good. So the easiest way to do this is to put this in your food processor. Uh, add your citrus, your juice, your fl whatever flavors you want. Mix it all together, take it back out, put it back in this container, and then you scoop it out and you're done, right? Whatever you want to. But I want you to do a little batch so you guys can see. So, get your butter in there. Is this butter or yogurt? Oh, it's butter. My mom, she's always throwing random stuff and things. Okay, so we're gonna get that. Then we're gonna add, we're gonna add um, lime zest. And like I said, you can add anything to this butter. You wanna add spice to it. You wanna add Cholula to the butter. You know, whatever you want that you feel like, oh man, those are the same flavors that I like and that I like to use a lot, then use it, okay? As a cook, you try to think, how am I gonna impart all this flavor into this butter just using lime, right? So you add juice, that's gonna add flavor, right? But what else can you do? Well, if you add zest as well, it's gonna add twice the amount of flavor that you're looking for. And then, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm a big fan of rice vinegar. This is how I lost my 440, my first 40. Open that beer bottle, no problem, Bob. <sighs> All right, so I like to cheat. I like to use uh, rice wine vinegar. The rice wine vinegar is gonna add uh, acidity and it's also gonna add a little sweetness and it's tart, so you know, it's kind of what I like. Um, I like to add tahin, I add it to everything. I know a lot of people are crazy about what they're watching to eat and stuff you know, and they're trying to avoid like, oh, so much salt, you know, so if you have something that imparts flavor and you don't have to add too much of anything else, then you, you know, you're kind of doing a good thing. And then we're just gonna mix it. And like I said, if you have a food processor, it's gonna be faster. If not, you're gonna be like me, old school. I'll do it like this, like the way you make chocolate back in Mexico. Should we melt the butter? No, because then it separates. Is that what we're trying to do? You know, like I said, we, we want we want to just mix it all together and uh, try to incorporate all the butter with that flavor. You know, because at the end we're gonna have some really cool stuff. I got a food processor right here. So then, once you're done with it, let me show you. So now we have this butter that has all these different flavors in there. You know, and like I said. It's something that's simple, uh, something that will last a good while, and something that when you wanna finish things, you're kinda like, oh man, I'm tired of putting A1 on everything, or I'm tired of putting sriracha on everything. You know, this butter has flavor, all that good stuff. It's endless of what you could do. And it's a cool way to have something in your freezer that'll last forever, cut out a piece that you need, you know, throw it into whatever you're making, and throw it, put it, wrap it back, put it back in there. And as long as you have frozen, this is gonna be good.